So why have we invited you here today? Well, I know that you're studying the Egyptians, the ancient Egyptians in school, is that right? Yes. Yes. Well, today we need your help on a really exciting project that is going to join your brains together with the brains of real children from Egypt today to think about a very special place in Egypt, a place that is known as ancient Amarna. So Amarna is a very, very important site and it's a wonderful city where we can actually find out about how the ancient Egyptians were living in the past. So we're going to get you, as our super ancient Egypt detectives, to think about questions about Amarna. Right now we are in the middle of the Amarna dig house. This is the place where several times a year archaeologists from Egypt and all over the world come together to work, live and study the ancient site of Amarna. Now at the moment, if we listen, it's very quiet in the house. That's because all the archaeologists are out on site doing the excavation. But any minute now, they'll arrive in the truck with everything that they've found during today's dig. Do you think Egypt is special and why? It makes me feel great. It makes me feel so excited to be here. I think this is just such a beautiful landscape, a beautiful place with amazing people. Why do you find ancient Egypt interesting? I'm interested in ancient Egypt because I love learning about how the ordinary people in the past lived and worked and how their everyday lives were. And that's why a place like Amarna is so special to work at. Why do you think it was exciting to live in ancient Egypt? What's your favorite part about Egypt and why? Uh, I love Amarna. I love coming here for many reasons. Uh, to work as an archeologist, it's a very interesting place. We always find something new and different. You never know exactly what to expect each day when you go to work. So we have to try it. <laughs> okay, so we're in Cairo where we're going to meet some different groups of children who we're going to work with to try and answer the questions that we have so far about ancient Armana. And the way we're going to do this is through experimental archaeology. Archaeologists بيجيبوا حاجات من تحت الأرض يلاقوها لو لو يقدروا يجمعوا حاجات كتيرة وفي آخر اليوم يقدروا يشوفوا لو يقدروا يعرفوا إيه هم كانوا بيعملوا إيه من زمان. أم بحبه عشان إحنا إني مصريين ومفروض نبقى مبسوطين إن إحنا عندنا كل الحاجات في ال في الهستوري بتاعنا. What do they belong to? Were they part of a necklace, a bracelet? Were they earrings? Did they go on someone's leg? Okay, لو لقينا حتة مكسورة لازم نجيب نجيب كل الحتة نحطهم مع بعض ون ونعرف ده كان إيه. Why do you think Armana was such an important place? What do you think life was like in ancient Amarna? Al Amarna كانت الملك بتاع بتاعها اسمه أخناتون. هو غير كل حاجة خلاهم يعبدوا رب واحد بس الشمس. I know that his wife was Nefertiti. And scientists think that his son may be Tutankhamun. 
Do you still use hieroglyphs in modern Egypt? No, we use normal, we just use Arabic. What language do you write in now? Uh, me, I speak English and Arabic. Why do you think it was exciting to live in ancient Egypt? The name of the city is Akit Aten, so the horizon of the Aten, so of the sun disk. We need to write out horizon, uh, and we do that by putting the sun disk in between the mountains. Uh, and then Achet, so we put a little T on there as well, and a little house determinative. Um, and then we want to write out the god's name, so Aten. So first we put a little feather, and then we put a little bread loaf again, uh, and then we put a water line, and then at the very end we finish off with the sun disk. Amarna is such an important place because we have preserved here thousands and thousands of houses. No other site in Egypt preserves as much of any ancient city as Amarna. I am in the middle of an ancient Egyptian house. Now, it might not look like much, but you can still see all the walls and lots of the different rooms. Was it easy to make homes? Who built the houses in ancient Amarna? The Muslims were able to do what they wanted to do in their house. If you were a very good person, you would have to leave your house. Do you have to leave your house? How did it feel to live in one of the Amarna houses? I felt like there were a lot of things in it. There were no houses. كان صعب عشان كان ممكن لو حاجة مطرت أو كان في مياه دلقت أو حاجة البيت ممكن يتهد فيبتدوا تاني يعملوا تاني. How do you make mud bricks? لما نيجي نعجن المياه ما تبقاش كبيرة قوي. خلي المياه بيت. برضو. من من طوب زي فرانا عشان نقدر نبني بيوت. عشان نوري الناس ازاي فرعنا كانوا بيبني بنجيب رم وقش وميه نعمل ونحطه في القوالب وبعد كده بقى بنحطه ونظبطه ونسويه وبعد كده بنشده بالراحه وهو يتعمل زي التوب ونسيبه ينشف We wanted to see kind of how it was done, how they did it. Uh, some are more successful than others. And I think the trick is to not to add too much water. What clothes did they wear in ancient Albana? How did they make the material for their clothes? Egyptians were wearing before this time because this kind of loom wasn't invented. So when they invented these big upright looms, suddenly they could make and show off by having clothes with lots of pleats and folds in them. So this actually changed the fashion. What were the clothes made from? So by looking at textiles, I can tell how they were made. I need to use a magnifier like this one, and to have a closer look at the fiber. The fiber here is linen, and linen comes from a plant named flax. When we made the mesh, we put it in it, we put it in it, and we put it in it, and we put it in it. 
بس كان مختلف عن نفسنا خالص فكرت اللي احنا بنكون اللي احنا بنشوف الفرقه كانوا بيلبسوه ازاي وده لبسهم حسيت ان احنا في في عام الفراعنه فعلا كان شعور حلو مصريين زي ما كانوا بيحبوا المكهرات The ancient Egyptians loved accessories and loved jewelry and loved any type of thing that could make them look beautiful. Why did they like jewelry? So most jewelry in ancient Egypt had a particular function. In زمان كانوا بيفتكروا إن العميل ده لو لبسته أو خليته معاك إن each عميل ممكن يديك زي super power ي ي protect you من أي حاجة. كانت بتخليهم يعني تحميهم في ال حياة بتاعتهم وكمان ال after life لما يموتوا. أنا عملت عملت على قطة عشان أنا بحب القطط كتير وكمان عشان وقت الفرانة هم كانوا بيحبوا القطط كتير. لو عايزين تخزنوا أكل أو مية أو حاجة كده ما كانش فيه حاجة بلاستيك ما كانش فيه تلاجة ما كانش فيه ديب فريزر ما كانش فيه أي الحاجات دي فكانوا بيخزنوا الحاجات دي بقى في إيه؟ الفخار. Pottery was very important for the ancient Egyptians. It was like the plastic of today. So they would make the pots on a spinning on a wheel at this time period. And most of the pots they made were very simple shapes. They were really functional pieces. So it might be something to drink from or something to eat from. Simple bowls and simple jars. What decoration did the ancient Egyptians use to decorate their pottery? Sometimes they made fancier things like this example here. You can see it's very finely made and the shape is very beautiful and they've actually painted decoration in black and blue around the outside including lotus flowers on the outside and inside there's even pictures of a bird and an insect so this must have been a very special pot for someone this was not an ordinary piece of, of pottery في كل اللي جت في دماغي اللي هم مش عايشين شكلنا لا هم عايشين في طبيعتنا بحب الاطفال بتوع الجنديره يشوفوا الاثار بتاعتنا والبيوت والمدينه كلها where we're going to meet some different groups of children who we're going to work with to try and answer the questions that we have so far. Why do you think Amarna was such an important place? Al Amarna kanat al malik bta'a bta'a ismu Akhnatun. What language do you write in now? Uh, me, I speak English and Arabic. Why do you think it is exciting to live in Egypt? Why do you think it is exciting to live in Egypt?